What three baits should you be using in this month of February? Let's talk about it. So if you like this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Also, comment below and tell me what you think. Because I'm going to give all the baits that I talk about and show you today away in the next video. So, good luck and comment below. So, hopefully these baits will help you catch more fish. But before we get into the baits, here's some things you need to remember. To start off with, everyone around the country is having different type of weather. Um, some fish are pre-spawned, some fish are spawning, but if you're not covered with snow and, or ice, the baits that I tell you today hopefully will help you catch more fish. Reminder, we're going to downsize our line still. We still want that 8 to 10 pound line. We don't want to go crazy thick, but there are going to be some applications coming up very soon where we're going to need heavier line. But right now, fish are going to be going from deeper water to points where they can ambush fish. They're gonna go from deeper water to shallower water, still very lethargic, and they're gonna look for easy prey to eat. We're also gonna, also while they're looking for easy prey, they're looking for a certain size. We don't wanna use just massive baits right now. We wanna keep it a smaller profile still. We wanna keep it smaller baits, but at the same time, baits that have that are going to get us reaction bites, like a spinner bait. A spinner bait is a, a great bait to use down here, down here in Florida right now, and really every place. For me, that isn't one of the three baits I, I'm going to tell you to use. It's still always a, a very great bait to use, but right now, that isn't one. But for me, down here, as I talk around all sorts of stuff at this point in time, uh, I'm looking for points and I'm looking for things inside the water. If I'm going to use a spinnerbait, I'm going to bounce that bait off whatever's in the water. I want that bait to track at whatever it is and bounce off of that, let's just say, piece of wood or Christmas tree. Uh, and I want that those blades to just make a different change in pace for just that millisecond because anything that's inside or underneath those bass will attack that just because that they, they're feeling that vibration and that change makes them give that a reaction strike. So while it's not my top three, it's still a great bait to use right now. Because the water's a lot colder, your baits that have a lot of noise are probably, this is not the time to use those baits. While they do work and in the summer that rattle is great and one of the, the first bait I'm gonna show you is actually a rattle trap. And this is not the one I would generally use because this is a loud one, but a rattle trap is a great bait this time of year. You can find the right grass uh, and just rip it through it, rip it. Also, if you're in super deep water, a rattle trap is a great bait to yo-yo, just straight up and down. You'll catch bass and fish with, there, with, with those baits. But you don't want it to be overly loud, like that one's crazy loud. I think some of them are a little more silent or there's other di different lipless crankbaits that you can get that are even silent. Even the Thunderhawk, I think it's the Sergeant. They have one that's a, that has uh, BBs in it and the next one doesn't, the silent one. So if you can get a, uh, a, a lipless crankbait that doesn't have a ton of noise, that's going to be a key right now. So next, I really like the Berkley, the new Berkley finesse jig. Now, if you haven't seen it or don't know about it, the Berkley finesse jig, actually, the skirt is made out of power bait, so it leaves off a lot of scent. Now, during this time of month, you might want to trim this just below that hook. Get rid of that extra portion. Here's why. We don't want baits that have, we want a slimmer profile in the water right now. We don't want too many things going crazy. Just as in a trailer, which I'm going to show you these Berkley power baits, the boss grub. I like a grub this time of year. Here's why. I don't like a lot of appendages during the colder months. I want something that is just a grub grub tile, grub tile style bait, either that has the flapper tail, tail kickers or that curly tail. Another one is, another good one is the Z-Man goats. Again, another one that just has kicker tails but is just phenomenal. 
We don't want too big of a profile in the water. We want a slimmer profile, something that looks wounded, and something that the bass are used to seeing. These big baits are not happen they're not out there right now. All the bait that they're seeing is small. So we need to keep our bait small too. And by trimming that trail that uh, silicone skirt and putting the right trailer with your jig is extremely important and will also help you catch more fish. Now, I mean, it burns up the skirt and I know that, but you can use this year round, but during the colder months, this is a good time just to downsize it. My last bait is a Berkeley Fritz side or the Rapala OG, Rapala, Rapala, whatever one you want to call it. Both phenomenal baits. This is about the size you want. This Fritz side, Junior, this is a phenomenal bait this time of year. Both swim properly, come through, can, can come through grass a little bit. They have trouble hooks, so it's not that. But they both come out of the box ready to go. One of the things that bothers me is you can get a lot of crankbaits and stuff like that, square bill crankbaits, that don't have the right hooks on them. This time of year, you want to make sure your hooks are right. Let really, in all the whole year, you want to make sure you have the proper hooks on your bait. There are too many times that people, uh, companies cheap out and put the wrong hooks on a bait to make it swim better. This is not the time for that. You want to have the right size hook on your bait on your bait at all times. While it's a nightmare to go and change hooks and something you it stinks that you have to do, really it's very important that you check the hooks before you start using it because there's a bait I use nonstop. And I can tell you the hooks stink. I change the hooks on every one of them. But it's because I don't want to lose fish. So check your hooks on your your crankbaits. But these crankbaits are silent but deadly ones. SBDs, kind of like a fart. They're silent but deadly. They're great baits. The Fritz side and that Rapala OG from uh, Ott is Ott's Garage is phenomenal this time of year. Both swim well, both have great action, and you're gonna catch fish with these. Having that right profile and also silent with, when they're in the water and swimming and hunting is very, very important. So check out those baits too. There you have it. Three baits that I would be using anywhere in the country right now. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Remember to comment below if you want to win those baits. Remember to do it. I appreciate y'all. Guys, remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing.